to Intelligence Gateway. Week 6, Time Series Analysis Introduction to Time Series Analysis Time series analysis is a statistical technique used to analyze and model time-dependent data where observations are collected at regular intervals over time. In time series analysis, we look for patterns in the data, such as trends, seasonality, and cycles, and use statistical models to make predictions about future values of the time series. Time series analysis is widely used in fields such as finance, economics, engineering, and environmental science to study various phenomena such as stock prices, sales volumes, climate patterns, and more. It can be used for forecasting, anomaly detection, and trend analysis. Time series data visualization techniques Time series data visualization techniques are graphical representations that help users to visually analyze and interpret the patterns, trends, and seasonality of time series data. The following are some common time series visualization techniques. 1. Line plot. A line plot is a simple visualization technique that shows how the value of a variable changes over time. This plot consists of a series of data points connected by straight line segments. 2. Scatter plot. A scatter plot is a two dimensional plot that shows the relationship between two variables. In time series analysis, a scatter plot can be used to visualize the relationship between two time series variables. 3. Box plot. A box plot is a graphical representation of the distribution of a dataset. This plot shows the quartiles, median, and outliers of a dataset. 4. Histogram. A histogram is a graphical representation of the distribution of a dataset. This plot shows the frequency of values in different intervals. 5. Autocorrelation plot. An autocorrelation plot is a graphical representation of the correlation between a time series and its lagged values. This plot can be used to identify the presence of autocorrelation in the time series data. 6. Heat map. A heat map is a graphical representation of data that uses color coding to represent values. In time series analysis, a heat map can be used to visualize the relationship between two time series variables over time. 7. Seasonal plot. A seasonal plot is a graphical representation of a time series that shows the pattern of a variable over a seasonal period. This plot can be used to visualize the seasonality of a time series. 8. Spectral analysis. Spectral analysis is a technique used to study the frequency spectrum of a time series. Spectral analysis techniques such as Fourier transform and periodogram can be used to analyze the periodicity and frequency components of a time series. Time series forecasting techniques. Time series forecasting techniques are used to make predictions based on time series data. Time series data refers to data that is collected over time and has a sequential order. It is used in many applications such as stock market forecasting, weather forecasting, and sales forecasting. There are several techniques that can be used for time series forecasting. 1. Moving average. This method involves taking the average of the past values to make a prediction for the future. 2. Exponential smoothing. This method involves taking a weighted average of the past values to make a prediction for the future. The weights decrease exponentially as the data gets older. 3. Autoregressive AR, model. This method involves using past values of the time series to make a prediction for the future. The AR model assumes that the future values of the time series are a linear combination of the past values. 4. Moving average MA, model. This method involves using past prediction errors to make a prediction for the future. The MA model assumes that the future values of the time series are a linear combination of the past errors. 5. Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average ARIMA, model. This method combines the AR and MA models to take into account both the past values and the past prediction errors. 6. Seasonal ARIMA SARIMA, model. This method extends the ARIMA model to take into account seasonal variations in the time series data. 7. Profit. This method is a forecasting tool developed by Facebook that is based on an additive model where nonlinear trends are fit with yearly, weekly, and daily seasonality, plus holiday effects. 8. Deep learning models. This method involves using neural networks to make predictions. 
Recurrent neural networks, RNNs, are often used for time series forecasting as they are designed to work with sequential data. Long short-term memory, LSTM, networks are a type of RNN that are particularly useful for time series forecasting as they can remember information for longer periods of time. Week 7, Machine Learning Algorithms Introduction to Machine Learning Machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence that involves developing algorithms and statistical models that allow computers to learn from and make predictions or decisions based on data without being explicitly programmed for each task. In machine learning, a computer system is trained on a set of input data and corresponding output data so that it can learn to recognize patterns and make predictions about new input data. Machine learning can be divided into three main types, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. In supervised learning, the algorithm is trained on labeled data, meaning that the input data is already tagged with the correct output or target variable. In unsupervised learning, the algorithm is trained on unlabeled data, meaning that the input data is not tagged with any output variable. In reinforcement learning, the algorithm learns to make decisions based on a set of rewards and punishments and is used in applications such as game playing, robotics, and autonomous driving. Machine learning has become increasingly popular in recent years due to the exponential growth of data and the availability of powerful computing resources. It has numerous applications in various fields, including finance, healthcare, marketing, and entertainment. Machine learning algorithms, clustering, support vector machines, neural networks, etc. There are many machine learning algorithms, and each algorithm has its own strengths and weaknesses, as well as different use cases. Here are a few examples of popular machine learning algorithms. 1. Clustering. Clustering is an unsupervised learning technique used to group similar data points together. K-means clustering is a popular clustering algorithm that partitions a dataset into K clusters based on their similarity. 2. Support Vector Machines SVMs SVMs are a supervised learning technique used for classification and regression analysis. They aim to find the hyperplane that separates different classes with maximum margin. 3. Decision trees. Decision trees are a supervised learning technique that can be used for both classification and regression analysis. They are a series of binary decisions that lead to a predicted outcome. 4. Random forest. Random forests are an ensemble learning technique that combines multiple decision trees to improve accuracy and reduce overfitting. 5. Neural Networks Neural networks are a class of machine learning algorithms inspired by the structure of the brain. They are widely used for a range of tasks such as image and speech recognition, natural language processing, and more. These are just a few examples of the many machine learning algorithms available. The choice of algorithm will depend on the specific task, the size and quality of the data, and other factors such as computational resources and time constraints. Feature Selection and Engineering Techniques Feature selection and engineering are techniques used in machine learning to choose or create the most relevant and informative features, input variables, for a given problem. The aim is to improve the model's performance and reduce overfitting. Feature selection involves selecting a subset of the original features that contribute the most to the target variable. There are different methods for feature selection, such as filter methods, wrapper methods, and embedded methods. Filter methods evaluate the relevance of each feature independently of the others, based on statistical tests or correlations with the target variable. Wrapper methods use a specific learning algorithm to evaluate subsets of features and select the ones that result in the best performance. Embedded methods include feature selection as part of the model training process, for example, by using regularization techniques such as lasso or ridge regression. Feature engineering involves creating new features from the original ones based on domain knowledge or data analysis. This can help the model capture important patterns that were not present in the original data. Feature engineering can involve techniques such as scaling, normalization, encoding categorical variables, creating interaction terms, or transforming variables. 
In general, a combination of feature selection and engineering techniques can help improve the performance of machine learning models and make them more interpretable.